Alola Internet! I'm Hamster Bomb, and you are back for some more Pokemon Moon. Tapale! Tapale! Are we fighting Tapale? Oh my gosh, what the heck? It's Tapalele! That's the one that they said before in the game. Tapalele! You'd think that would have been on Melamele Island. I guess that's. Psychic Surge. Battlefield got weird. <laughs> Okay, so, that means this must be, um, Psychic and Fairy, that is my guess. And if Psychic and Fairy, I'm gonna kill it. Thunder Wave, for sure, though. Stop hitting me. Please, just don't hit me. Just don't hit me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the best like nobody ever was. Trust me. It's like an egg? Extra Sensory. That is a really good attack. Disguise has been broken. Kerplunk. With that out of the way, I'm thinking Leech Life is going to be super effective, Shadow Claw is super effective, Play Rough is my only option. We cannot kill it. Like we were constantly killing Tapu Koko last time. Oh god! Maybe we should just accept this and go for it. Even though the battlefield got weird. I don't know what that means. I don't remember what that means. One. I was going to say. First ball, we get two of them this turn. Flatter. Oh, that's dangerous. A legendary that knows Flatter? Or no, a land spirit. They were called land spirits last time. What that means, I don't know. We absolutely must go shopping after this. We have to. Plus, um, you know, there's shiny Pokemon to be found, guys. I need to. Tabalule uses extra sensory. Now. Oh. Oh my gosh, it hits so hard. Ultra Ball. Come on. Come on, you pink and psychic y lovely finger bobber. Whatever it is. Nature's madness. You know what? Fortu fortunately, Nature's Madness is only half your damage, but I just realized, like, most of the time in the other games, we always had, like, a pair of three extra legendary things that kind of went together. This one's four. One for each island, which is kind of a cool way to get around it. No! So close! Flatter again. Do not, under any circumstances, attack with Retro right now. Now, Tabalele's got a lot more HP than last time than Tapakoko did when he captured, but it is paralyzed. That has to help us a lot, right? Pokemon broke free. Nature's madness. Fortunately, that keeps us alive. I threw a little temper tantrum for a bit. Retro's in a pinch. I'm sorry, Retro. There's nothing I can do right now. Tapalele just will not get freaking paralyzed. It won't stop. It's relentlessly attacking us. One. Two. Three. No, again. We're close. We're getting there. That's it. Okay, you know what? If I send out, um... Nah, it's not gonna do it. We don't have Necrozma anymore. Next Pokemon. Does anyone resist Psychic? Um, I got Tapu Koko. You know, just, be, just to be awesome? Why not? Switching in. Hey, guess what? The terrain, it's electrified. Oh! Hey, guys, that, um, um, what's that move called? That half fight. Use the Nature's Madness. Come on, Nature's Madness. I can do this. There we go. Forgot about that. Forgot about that entirely. Extra sensory. Ow! I say before Tapu Koko dies, we gotta do that again. That is our gimme. That is our ace in the hole right there. Nature's madness. Boom. Can't kill ya. It's only half your damage. There you go. Moon blast! Uh-oh. Wow! Alright. Tapu Lele, uh, kinda just two-shot Tapu Koko. Wow. Um. Clearly cannot send in Rathian. Fear, I don't know if your bug resists this or not. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Fear's gonna run for it if we, if, um, if he takes too much damage. How about this? Aqua Ring, then we start throwing balls like nuts. Schooling. Giant form. Here we go. Now, here we go. Fight with an Aqua Ring. Stay in peak condition. It doesn't matter if you went first. Aqua Ring. Bobble, bobble, bobble. That's my fish. Flatter. I got it off in time. That's all I care about. 
You know, I guess it did matter that I had um quick claw there. All right, now time to catch a tapalele. This is gonna be it. We just we get it so much more. Come on now, one. Nothing. It's still refusing it. Tapalele is paralyzed though. Very very good for us. You don't even even need to use the taco ring at the moment. Come on, you're gonna stay in here. The electric train's still going on, which is kind of wet, like backwards, but. Tapalele is paralyzed. The electricity has disappeared from the battlefield, which is, I guess, cool for Unity and all. Ultra Ball. It was doing better before. Come on now. One, two, three. Yes! Oh, that was not as bad as last time. Tapalele was caught. Awesome. Thanks, Unity. You didn't do anything, but thanks for your help there, bud. Oh my gosh, we caught another one! Tapalele's data will be added to the Pokedex. Oh, I see, it's down here in the corner. So they're all in different spots. Registered. So they actually all go on the same page. That's so strange. Registered at Land Spirit. If I were you, I'd check it out at once. Do they... Do you need them all together to do something? It's... Oh, it's like a little psychic fairy in a... Oh, it's got fairy wings on the back. So it's like an egg. Um, as it flutters about, it scatters its strangely glowing scales. Touching them is said to restore good health on the spot. Okay, so it's like a healer? It sure didn't seem like it when we were fighting it before. Next. Uh, give Tapalele a nickname. No, I need to remember these things. Um, where do you want to send Tapalele? How about to the party? And, uh, switching out of Tapu Coco. You know what, honestly... We should switch fear out because we should not be trying to catch legendaries with fear. That's just dumb. Um, now, that was actually really awesome. And I want to take a look at this Pokemon here. So, let's see. Tapalele had 9 HP remaining. And it is a neutral nature. Nature of Madness, Moonblast, Flatter, and Extra Sensory with Psychic Surge. Turns the ground to Psychic Terrain where the Pokemon enters a battlefield. Yeah, but... Psychic terrain, I don't know what that is anyway, so whatever it is. Docile alert to sounds, which is kind of funny because, um, our, uh, top, no, no, it was Necrozma was alert to sounds, I was gonna say. I thought we just got that on one of our legendary, uh-oh, oh, wait, no, we're good, we're good. I was gonna say, did they stick us in here or something? That would stink. Like, it resets and you gotta, like, find your own way back out of here. That would absolutely stink. It stink a lot, actually. So, how about I, uh, here's what I say we do. We're going to fly with Charizard over to the next island over, which is Ula Ula Island, and we got to figure out where is this next place. It's not there. Um, is that it up there? No, it's got to have a flying point, right? Uh, no. Uh, Tapu Village, maybe? No, that's on top of the mountain, isn't it? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. One's Mount Lanakila and is not up there, right? There's... Maybe it's in the ruins in the desert. We didn't get that far. Route 12. No, it's not over there. I don't know where this last one is. Mali City. Maybe it's in the back of the city. Like, what's this? Outer Cape. Did we go there? Famous for the recycling plant. The plant is co-managed by people in Pokemon. Route 10. I don't even know if we went there or not, honestly. So how about I say we start... Okay, wait. Is it called the ruins? Uh, Salon, lost at a shop. Wait. Ula Fairy, oh, Fairy, like, Fairy Terminal. Uh, Community Center, Mali Library, The Garden, and the Sushi High Roller. Man, is it, is it out here? Is that Po Town? Yeah, Po Town's police station, Shady, I doubt it's out in Po Town. That would make no sense. Uh, Ula Ula Mello, Meadow, and Lake of the Sun. Is there any point to the Lake of the Sun? I don't know. What is this? Pokemon Center, Ula Ula Meadow, Lake of the Sun. That's probably Lake of the Sun right there you can fly to. I'm not sure if that even matters? Mount Lanakila, Move Reminder, Pokemon Center, Pokemon League. Okay, so no, that's not what we want. That's Pokemon League then. Then, um, I'm guessing we should actually fly over here because I'm not sure what this next, um, ruins area, I'm not sure what you really call these areas are. Um, I'm not sure where the last one is either. Those were the only... No, no, I know where the last one is. 
It's this one. I don't know where it is. At least I don't remember. I don't know. I don't remember this island as well as the other two. Because I spent a heck of a lot more time on the first two islands. Obviously, because I was shiny hunting. A lot more there than I was on the third. And uh, when I was on the third, I was kind of streaming it. So, you know, I was just kind of with you guys anyway. So, here's what I say we do. Wait a minute. Is it in there? Maybe it's in here. May maybe. I'm not sure. So, how about Taros run us through this area really quick? It's possible... What? Wait, what's going on here? What's all this? What's all this? Why? What is all that going on? What is all that nonsense? Can't even surf around them. I'm not sure what's going on here. But you know what? Random trial for us? I guess it is. What's this, kid? People call this the Nugget Bridge! Oh! Beat us five trainers and win a Fabulous Prize. Uh, think you got what it takes? You know what? They can't stop me. They can't freaking stop me. We call Mally Garden Nugget Garden. Beat us five trainers, win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? This is awesome. It's a callback from the first game, guys. If you guys have no idea what this is talking about. Challenged by Rising Star Elijah. And, um, typically the last person in the first one, your prize was they let you join Team Rocket. He has a Caterpie. Wait a minute, when were we supposed to do this? 29, a long time ago. A long time ago. Great. Now I'm gonna be beating up a bunch of little kids. Are you serious? Maybe they get like much stronger each time though. Send in a Weedle. You know what, yeah. Hey Rathian, just burn these things. Burn these things. I can't believe we're doing this right now, but we're doing this right now. You know, it's always kind of a bummer when post-game Pokemon stuff is like this. That's why I kind of feel like levels... I don't know, there's something about the RPG level element to the game that sure makes it a lot of fun, but when you go backtracking, you'll find things that you miss, and it's just kind of depressing. Like, oh, man. Now it's just too easy, and it's just a burden, as opposed to before when it could have been really fun. Whoa, good stuff, man. Yeah, I fought you with my level 30 Weedle and Caterpie. Who is that back there? First, I thought it was, um... What's his name? No, not you. Um... Uh, the, the Team Skull admin that we just keep destroying. I'm second now, it's serious. Um... What is this? Guzma! Gosh, Guzma, all oh, adorable Guzma that we just keep destroying and wrecking on every time we see him. I was hoping it was gonna get, like, way harder. Maybe the last person who fights you has, like, level 80 Pokemon. I doubt it. Pidgey. Perfect sync one another. And a flamethrower for you. Bah. This is not even gonna help me level up. But I kinda need Rathian to feel like she can beat something, so... This is her morale boost. Sending in a need her hand female. How early were we supposed to do this? Like, based on the kind of Pokemon they're using, this should have been, um... This should have been something that... I don't know. should have been on, like, the second island at best. I don't know. It seems too easy even for the point we were at then. It's not like I'm locked into battle all five in a row, either. I can turn around into the Pokemon Center right there. But still, we should carry on. Number three, I won't be easy. I'll go easy on this kid. Kid, um, I'm trying to find the guardian of the island. Remember that? That's important. I am. I'm trying to find the guardian. I'm not, I'm seriously, I'm not stalling. I'm trying to figure out where the heck the guardian is. Um, I thought that it was back in the back of this area. And the only way to get back there right now is, of course, battling through Nugget Bridge. And we might as well do it uh, for some items. How about a Vino Shock? Why not? And... Splat! And your rat -a tat is now dead a tat. Can you please let me pass, kid? Like, gotta admit, Ekans, you have no shot. Kid, look at the level of my Pokemon. I feel bad. I do. Do you see what I that's not gonna help you? I'm using special attacks. Kid, it's. You're dead. You're so dead. In fact, I don't think anyone on this bridge will even damage me. If I use Mimikyu, I guarantee you they will not damage me. Sends in a Zubat. 
Ah, oh, this kid. Full on Team Rocket member right there. Yeah, he's a he's a tricky bad he's a tricky little bad bad kid, isn't he? Eats up the Zubat, and that's all for that kid. You know, where the heck was the next one? They said Tapa Lele before, so that's the one I knew a name for, but I don't remember any others. Number four, getting tired. I am no, no. Um. I'm looking for, uh, hey, Emmy, I'm looking for, or, for where the Tapu is. What is it called, and where can I find it? Because, um, all I gotta do is touch its rock in the right spot, rub it the right way, like a genie in a bottle, and it's gonna come right out for me, and give me a hug, and stay in my balls. And it's going to be my friend, as I go and try and capture the fourth one, wherever that may be. I don't know, who would have gone back in here again for no reason? See, that's what I'm like, we went back into this area, I think twice m for mandatory reasons. And um, both times I was in here, I was like, man, the Pokemon in the grass here are just irritating. I don't like any of them. I just want to go, I want out of here. So I would have never have gone back in there for no reason anyway. I don't even think there was a new Pokemon that you find here, like new to the game. So there's not even a real point. I don't know. I'm never fine, I'll stomp you! Sends out a level 70 Golem. Yes, one Pokemon, level 70 Golem. Do it, kid. Mankey. Well... It's from Kanto. It's almost a Golem. Kill it. I feel so bad. Flamethrower. And hotness. Now, traditionally also, the sixth person actually does fight you anyway. So I got a feeling that we're in for another battle, and it might be harder than the others. So I guess any of you guys who are still playing your Pokemon Sun and Moon, um, go in here with a weaker team. Congratulations, you beat all five trainers. You've earned a fabulous, fabulous prize. Oh, they just give it to me. Big Nugget, would you like to join Team Skull? By the way, would you like to join Team Rocket? Team Rocket! Yes, that's Team Rocket! Why are these still a thing? Group dedicated to evil using Pokemon. Wanna join? Are you sure? Come on, join. This is exactly, exactly from the first game. Same lines and everything. Telling you to join. You need convincing. And then he fights. Oh my god, is it a Team Rocket grunt? Tell me it's a Team Rocket grunt. Oh man. Tell my veteran Don. I think it was just a joke. Because in the first game, it was actually a Team Rocket grunt, you know. But he seriously said that. Do you want to join Team Rocket? What? That was from the first game. I totally remember that. It was awesome. It was hilarious because I wanted to say yes, but they wouldn't let me. Flamethrower. Hotness. So we did get a sixth battle out of this guy. Too bad it wasn't like a battle battle. It was no battle. It was just a death-defying act by the one and only Rathian, who is just barbecuing everything that shows up in her path, flamethrower. Sayonara! And, oh man, that was kind of creepy. That poor bat. That wasn't necessary, Rathian, seriously. The poor thing. See, this area kind of looks like a shrine. That's why I kind of feel like this is where the Tapu is, if we can fight our way back in here. Oh, I should listen to what he said. I wanna listen to what you say. With your ability, you could be a top leader in Team Rocket. Just kidding. My man, Team Rocket fell apart years ago. Oh, No point in telling you that you've gotta join Team Rocket, right? Just having some fun pretending we're just like this five on Nugget Bridge. Boy, wonder what Mr. Old Giovanni is up to now. I know, right? What is he? He was the boss of Team Rocket back then. That was it? That was, okay. Okay. I'm cool with the callbacks. I love random callbacks, but still, I was like, what is Giovanni up to now? Hello! What in the world is the secret pond of this garden? There's a secret? If there is a secret, I don't know it. Maybe there's a really rare Pokemon you could fish out of here. I don't know. So every time I tried, I never got something out of it. So, you know what? Maybe that's shrine back here. Maybe that's a shrine. Ooh, hey, hey! This sound familiar. What's that? What? What is that? It's just a wall. Maybe it's the side of something else. Oh, it's a tower. 
Ooh, where's the entrance to that tower? I want up it. I want up it. We're at the end. R run from that thing. It's just a mosquito. Oh, come on. Get away from it, Rathian. Thank you. So, where's the entrance to this thing? I want to find out. There's something on my map that's going to tell me. No, it's the only way. That's the only way. Maybe there is no entrance and it's not really a building. And if that's the case, you want to go through here to get to... Ooh, 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 yes. Maybe there is a rare Pokemon in this area. Please don't be a Psyduck. I hear so many Psyducks. I really don't want a Psyduck. I'll tell you what I really want. I really want, like, a rare, 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 rarely rarish Pokemon. A rare, shiny Bruxish. That's what I want. Shiny Bruxish. One encounter, shiny Bruxish. Right? Right? It's so shiny that it's red. Let's catch this shiny red Bruxish. Which is actually red, by the way, when it shines. I actually don't really like its shiny colors that much. I would be all over that thing because it's a shiny file fish. But unfortunately, no. You, uh, I'm not a fan of its shiny pattern. What the heck? There has to be a... Where? It's got it. Oh, I thought it was in here. My intuition. It, it, it got me Necrozma. I was hoping it would get me, um, a Poliwag. It's cool. I was hoping it would get me Tapu... Tapu Akala. No, no, we're on Ula Ula. Tapu Ula. Tapu Ula. No, Tapu Fini. Now I remember, there was another name. Tapu Fini. Is that this one we're going for? I don't know. And that's a dead end. Okay then, so this is clearly not it. How about this? I'm gonna try one more thing before we have to give up and I'm just gonna have to search the island. Um, I'm gonna try flying back here and then we're gonna explore through the town. It can't be in the town. Mount Halukanani, Mount Haukulani, Haukulani. Darn, I don't even know where the heck this is going. I have no clue where we're going here. What about this? Ula Ula Meadow. The other ones were kind of by the meadows. Lake of the Sun. You know, why not? Why not? Let's go Lake of the Sun. I have no idea where we're going anyway. Clearly it was not back in there. It's gotta be around here somewhere. I gotta find this. I know everyone else is just yelling at me in the comments, knowing where it is, but it's it's fine. Wait, Ula Ula Meadow. Yes, this is still the meadow. But this part, upcoming in here. Hello. The crumbling old shrine, what do you think happened in the past? Let's actually check if something happens in this area now that you return. You know, I wonder. What if you find a legendary here? That would be amazing. That would be absolutely amazing if you could still find a legendary in here. I kind of doubt it, but it's here for no reason. There's got to be a point, right? Besides, if, um, if there is no point, we'll fly out of here instead. Um, nothing there. Oh, man, there's nothing. Seriously? This whole time there's nothing? Then why, how do you have to fight through all this in sun to get here? Is sun just an easier game or is this moon and sun? This might be the moon shrine and sun. That's probably what it is. Now, if that's the case, um, where the heck could the shrine be? I really don't know. I really have no idea. And before I, I stall way too long, I'm sorry. I, I'm really not trying to do that. I honestly am trying to figure out where the heck this shrine is. I remember where the fourth one is. I do not remember where this one is. So, either way, with that out of the way, I'm going to try and figure out where the heck this is so we, oh, we can find our third Land Spirit Guardian Pokemon in the next episode. So, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Moon. Bye.